Yes, one of the dates that have been floated, of course, ahead of this statement from Pedro Sanchez, the Socialist Prime Minister. And it's significant because it doesn't coincide with those European parliamentary elections in May. That means that Spaniards can focus on their own national elections and Spanish political parties can focus on these national elections. What we've seen, of course, in the last three years or so is an increasing fragmentation of the political land landscape here. We'd had a generation of two-party rule uh, prior to that. And now we're seeing the rise of some of these smaller parties, including on the far right, the Vox Party. I'm actually right now inside the headquarters of one of their coalition partners in local elections back in December. That's the Partido Popular. And of course, it was the leader of the PP, the Partido Popular, Mariano Rajoy, who was toppled by a vote of no confidence back in June by Pedro Sanchez. An indication of quite how complex the parliamentary mathematics is these days in Spain. He now facing legislative blockade, trying to get his own budget through on Wednesday, defeated pretty significantly in a vote that afternoon and that was largely due to the decision of two Catalan separatist parties that had previously supported his government efforts to decide to stand against that budget. They'd complained about the fact that although he'd allowed the facilitation of talks between pro-separatist and pro-unity parties here in Spain, he had not allowed the question, once again, this very thorny question of a Catalan independence referendum to be part of those formal discussions. And then on top of that, of course, this past week, we've had the start of the trial for 12 Catalan separatist high-profile figures, all of them stemming from that failed 2017 independence movement. And they have all been standing trial here in Madrid, a very, very great cause of concern for the separatist movement. And that seems to be one of the reasons they've been so obstinate. We've now ended up with a situation where Sanchez is calling these elections today. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.